Right, so, um, what's the time? It is about 5.15 on Thursday, so day six. Um, terrible night's sleep last night. Literally didn't get to sleep until like 3am, 3 3 uh, and I don't really know why. I was in a little bit of discomfort, but... Uh, yeah, it was a, uh, it sucked. Um, but I guess that means I'll just have an early night tonight. Um, basically, I've just finished icing my knee, so um, I could actually show you my knee in a minute. In a minute, actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll show you my knee, just see how like what the difference is between that and my other one because. I think you'll see how substantial the swelling is. Um, speaking of which, the swelling has gone down quite a lot, but it's just um, when these things happen, the swelling gets really big. So, yeah. Um, uh, I am starting to get stuff together for um, those little projects that I told you about. Um, to do with mental health, so that's good. I'm going to send out a bunch of emails tomorrow about it um, and try and get some communication going. I had a phone call today um, to organise, to kind of mention and start organising some really exciting stuff um, that I might be doing. So uh, really looking forward to that and doing doing some good work with that. So it should be good. Um, Done my exercises today. Got to do another set once I get this cough off, and once I'm, I'm done doing this vlog, um, no guitar today though. Know. Uh, so that will be on the list to do tomorrow. Uh, I've got my girlfriend's parents coming out for dinner with me and my parents tomorrow. It's a nice little family thing there. Um, and first meal out post post injury so um, luckily the place we're going I think should be should be um, really accommodating they're normally really good so looking forward to doing that and then after that my my the people I shared a house with at uni are coming over um, and they're going to come and stay here tomorrow night and then we're going to spend the day together tomorrow uh, on Saturday rather which I'm really looking forward to I haven't seen them in ages um, yeah still feeling positive I'm just really tired so if I seem a bit kind of more subdued that's why it's not that I'm, I'm not feeling depressed or anything um I'm actually feeling quite positive about it. I'm just I'm absolutely knackered. Um, but, you know, there's not much I can do about it now. Um, tried to have a nap earlier, that didn't really work. Uh, yeah. Luckily, we've kind of set the, where I am up so that I can kind of get to everything so obviously got a game ready machine now the thing is, is that thing uses a party bag of ice every two hours um, and so we've had to put ice in the cooler box and then I kind of have to hop over empty out the water uh, which is from the melted ice and then put more ice in um, the remains of my salmon salad lunch which was very nice um, and then the big box of sweets down there which as we've already talked about is a very nice gesture but it's probably going to be really hard for me to resist although I have been doing quite well with it so uh, fingers crossed I can keep that up um, oh, what else oh I might I think I've got another physio session tonight. Um, 
but I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out when my mum gets home. Um, yeah, physio's been going alright. I'm trying to adjust so I'm actually getting the technique right because I realised watching the videos that I did put up on the end of the last video I did, just didn't look quite right. So I'm trying to kind of adjust that and make sure I'm really getting. I'm really getting the technique right for it, making sure I'm hitting those right muscle groups um, to try and to try and help this healing process. So it's um, yeah, it's it's tough, but getting through it. Um, uh, I'm gonna have a shower before physio if I've got physio. So. Another thing to look forward to, there's lots of stuff to look for. you start to really appreciate, <laughs> and it sounds very cliche, but the smaller things, so like having a shower, like, it's weird to be excited about having a shower, and the phone's ringing, but because my mum didn't put it near, but no, invite me, I'm not going get to get to it in time, which, it's not great, um, but yeah, you end up kind of appreciating, like, having a shower, um, just like being able to bend your knee as well. Like I fidget a lot. Um, I think that's quite common with people with ADD. But um, I'm constantly moving, um, and not being able to bend my knee is so annoying because I fidget all the time. Like I can't sit still for long periods of time, or for short periods of time, really. So like I'm having to like move my other leg really excessively, and then keep lifting my leg up straight um, right, just to finish off I will show you what my knee looks like so take the cuff off so it's a bit red because it's cold but basically we compare them nice and red fat Dressing's kind of stayed on well. Um, it got a bit wet first first time I had a shower in the hospital, but it's all right now. Um, I've got a little blister somewhere. Um, it looks like the bruising going down as well, but yeah. So basically, that's it, and I will see you tomorrow.